Hello and welcome to Luna Lab Premieres, the culmination of a partnership between the Los Angeles Chamber Orchestra and Kaufman Music Center. My name is Kate Sheeran and I'm the Executive Director of Kaufman Music Center. And my name is Ben Cadwallader. I'm the Executive Director of LICO. And Luna Composition Lab is a mentorship program for female identifying non-binary and gender non-conforming composers. And it was co-founded between Missy Mazzoli and Ellen Reed and the Kappa Music Center about four years ago. We're delighted to have this program for so many reasons. Um, Kaufman Music Center strives to create access for young musicians and to uh, really remove barriers for study of music of all types. We have uh, about 3,000 students who study at Kaufman Music Center. And of course, the Luna Lab Fellows come from all around the country. So it's ex especially exciting when we get to do these premieres. And this year, we're thrilled to be able to do it in partnership with LACO. Yes, it really is an honor for us to be part of this partnership as well. LACO has a national profile as one of the one of the finest um, orchestras in America, and that um, reputation is built in addition to the to the artistry of of LACO musicians. It's built on the recording legacy um, that for for decades the LA Chamber Orchestra has put out incredible recordings and we very much view this partnership with the Kaufman Music Center and Luna Lab as a continuation and evolution of that rich recording legacy. Bringing these pieces to light from these fabulous young artists is really an honor for us and we're just so excited to be sharing it with all of you tonight. In a normal year, uh, the young fellows, the young composers of Luna Lab would all come to New York for an intensive week and learn about the musical ecosystem here and have their pieces premiered in our Merkin Hall by young musicians from our programs. But of course, because of COVID, that didn't happen last spring. So it's especially lucky that in this year, we have the forces of the musicians of LACO and the support of you and your staff, Ben, who really have pushed this project forward against all odds. Thank you. It, it truly was our pleasure, and that's and that's not just a, a platitude. We um, it was in late August, I believe, that we gathered uh, a group of Laco musicians and um, Derek Spiva Jr., who's our uh, artistic advisor and a fabulous composer in his own right. We gathered at at um, Zipper Hall at the Colburn School in downtown Los Angeles, and this was the first time for most of those Laco musicians that they had actually gotten together to make music in person. Um, it was of course safe, socially distanced under the, under the um, guidelines from the Los Angeles County. Um, but so when I say it's our pleasure, it truly was a pleasure for those musicians to get, to get together and make music. Um, so there was already that excitement. The air was kind of crackling with people just seeing each other again. But then there was, there was yet another layer to this. You know, when, when there's premieres, when there's new music, there, you, you don't you don't know what you're going to get always. That's part of the, the the agony and the ecstasy of bringing new new art to light. But it was very quickly clear to all of us in the room that um, one, the caliber of the artistry with with these pieces that we were bringing to life was um, I mean of course they were student compositions, but they weren't student compositions. If you know mm -hmm. what I mean, there was this moment of collective realization that wow, these are these are serious pieces from artists that seem almost fully formed already. They have something urgent to say. Um, and we all felt like we wanted to bring these pieces to life beyond the, the bounds of, of Zipper Hall that day um, and to share it in a more public way. So that we are able now all these months later to do this for you, um, it, on this screen is is really just just an honor and a privilege, and, and we hope you'll feel the same way that we did. And I'm looking forward to hearing them too. We want to get to that, but I just before we before we get to the show to these premieres, I want to thank the mentors. the The Luna Lab fellows work with mentors all year long, so thank you to all the many mentors. And I, you can read all about uh, the teachers in the program at kaffamusiccenter.org and find out a little bit more about Luna Lab. And of course, it's led by the intrepid composers, the wonderful artists, Ellen Reed and Missy Mazzoli, who among them have multiple Grammy nominations, Pulitzer, Prize, Pulitzer Prizes, uh, 
premieres all over the world and are just wonderful humans who took, have taken the initiative uh, to create Luna Lab. And I know they have deep ties with LACO as well. Is that right, Ben? They, they truly are rock stars, those two. And yeah, so, so Missy Mazzoli, um, we, we, we played a work of hers last season, Dark with Excessive Rights, a wonderful bass concerto. We continue to work closely with her. And Ellen actually is one of our um, senior artistic leaders. So it's always nice when a partnership like this has so many different points of connectivity between our organizations um, and that we get to bring this to light tonight is, is just uh, feels inevitable in a lot of ways. A, a bi-coastal partnership to elevate uh, the, the work of young musicians is certainly a highlight of this time. So thank you to you and your team and the musicians for making it happen. And I think now we're going to turn it over to Missy and Ellen to tell you more about the composers and the music. Hi, I'm Missy Mazzoli. Hi, I'm Ellen Reed. And we are the co-founders of the Luna Composition Lab, and we're honored to present to you the first or one of the first professional presentations of these young composers' works. We know that they're going on to have great careers, and it's a joy and a privilege for Luna Lab and the Los Angeles Chamber Orchestra to be some of the first organizations to promote their absolutely incredible talents. These eight composers, Ebun Oguntola, Anya Lagman, Kimani Bridges, Chloe Villamayor, Sage Sherman, Madeline Chang, Emily Webster Zuber, and Olivia Bennett have been working with female identifying non-binary and gender non-conforming mentors through this program in lessons and masterclasses for most of the last year. These selected composers hail from every corner of the country. They all have wildly different compositional styles, voices, influences, but one thing they have in common is that they have powered through this pandemic. They all managed not to just finish their pieces, but to rehearse them over Zoom, to attend lessons and masterclasses and really show up to this process. And they didn't give up. They have kept going and they have made beautiful music under the most dire circumstances. So without further ado, the Luna Lab Fellows and the Luna Lab at Laco Fellows. Hello everyone, my name is Buno Gontola and I was a 2019 to 2020 Luna Lab Composition Fellow where I worked with Rena Esmail. I'm currently a 15 year old um, sophomore in high school and I'm from upstate New York. I'm a composer who also plays the violin, the piano, and a little bit of singing. So during my Luna Lab Fellowship, I composed the piece named The Dimensions for a piano and two violins. And the basis for this piece was to take two major musical ideas and greatly expand them. Throughout the piece, you will hear different emotions and characteristics through the music, but they all still stem from those two major musical ideas. I had so much fun experimenting, so thank you so much for listening.
Hello from the Philippines. My name is Anya Lagman, and I was a participant in Luna Lab with LEGO during the 2019 to 2020 season. With my mentor, Sarah Gibson, we workshopped my piece, Unravel. I am a 19-year-old Filipino composer, a sophomore at USC Thornton School of Music. Alongside composing, I play the piano, flute, bassoon, and percussion. Unravel is a string quartet that invites listeners to embark on a riveting journey of sharp, unexpected turns. This piece contours an emotional struggle wherein the strings reach out to the listener and yearn for some sort of resolution. Each member of the ensemble brings their own unique set of colors, tugging on the hard strings with their rich harmonies. I invite listeners to join me on this journey and to see that there is always light at the end of the tunnel. I would like to thank Ellen Reed and Missy Mazzoli for this incredible opportunity and extend my gratitude to Sarah Gibson and the talented musicians for helping me bring this piece to life. I hope you enjoy and thank you for listening.
My name is Sage Sherman and I was a Luma Lab Fellow for the 2019-2020 season where I worked under mentor Giddy Rizaz. I'm 15 in 10th grade and I'm from Los Angeles. I'm a composer and pianist. During my Luma Lab Fellowship, I wrote the piece Enchanted for Piano Trio. 
Enchanted was my light-hearted escape from the heavier aspects of life. It is meant to take the audience on an ethereal journey, away from their burdens and towards an absorbing fantasy land. I hope you enjoy.
My name is Chloe Villamayor, and I was a Luna Lab participant with LACO during the 2019 to 2020 season, where I worked with mentor Nina C. Young. I am an 18-year-old senior at the Buckley School. I'm from Santa Clarita, and I am a composer, violinist, and songwriter. My piece, Fragments of Anything to Breathe To, is written for violin, viola, cello, and piano. Initially, I wanted this piece to be about the concept of breathing and its relationship with human interaction. But in light of the tragic shooting at a local high school, I wanted this piece to be a source of comfort for those in my hometown who were affected. Whatever meaning you place within this piece, may it bring you hope and may it inspire you to lift up others during the darkest of times.
Hi, my name is Kimai Bridges, and I was a Luna Lab Composition Fellow for 2019 to 20 season, where I worked with my mentor, Ellen Reed. I am 18 years old, and I am a freshman at the Jacob School of Music in Bloomington, Indiana, and I'm from Louisville, Kentucky. Along with being a composer, I also played the flute, and during my Luna Lab Fellowship, I wrote The Flower for flute, violin, viola, and percussion. The flower is a four minute piece that tells the life of the flower, starting with the seed being carried and planted in, into the ground, to the growth, an eventual storm, and finally concludes with the bloom and the death of the flower. The piece uses a few extended techniques, such as singing and playing for the flute and harmonics for the strings. For percussion, the piece includes the use of timpani, marimba, bass drum, and cymbals. The flower has an array of colors and dynamics that give each movement a distinct feel. So here is the flower and I hope you enjoy. Thank you.
Hi, my name is Madeline Clara Chang, and I was a Luna Composition Lab Fellow for the 2019 to 2020 season, where I worked with my incredible mentor, Tamar Muscal. I am 16 years old, and I am a junior at Mountain View High School, and I am from Los Altos, California. I am a composer, and I play the saxophone and piano. During my Luna Lab Fellowship, I wrote the piece Ceiling Stars for Piano Trio. This piece is based on the concept of childhood hopes and dreams. It is inspired by the glow-in-the-dark star stickers that many people put on their ceiling when they're younger, hence the name Ceiling Stars. The piece opens with a section full of longing nostalgia as one gazes up at their ceiling star stickers from their childhood, reminiscing about a simpler time of innocence, fantastical dreams, and that drive, that passionate fire that burns in young souls. The second half of the piece represents a rekindling of that passionate fire while looking up at those ceiling stars and falling into an old dream of reaching the stars and dancing among them. Thank you so much to Luna Lab for this incredible opportunity, and I hope you enjoy my piece.
Hello, my name is Emily Webster Zuber, and I was a participant in Luna Lab with LACO during the 2019 to 2020 season. I had the opportunity to work with mentor Dr. Don Norfleet. I was a junior in high school during the program, but I've skipped my senior year to start as a freshman in college at Mount St. Mary's University, Los Angeles. I'm now 18 years old. My piece, The Sun Shines Fair for String Trio, is titled after a line from a poem. When I was working on the third movement of Charles Ives' second piano sonata, I was inspired to use Louisa May Alcott's poem, The Rose Family Song One, for this composition. I altered the setting from the calmness of nature in Concord, Massachusetts to something personally relevant, the devastating California wildfires of the past decade. Flowers represent nature's innocence before disaster strikes, and the tranquil wind and brook of Concord turn into a blazing inferno. This composition was my application piece for Luna Lab with LACO, so I worked with Dr. Northley on making several sections sound more wild, improvisatory, and unstable to fit the imagery of fire. I want to give thanks to Luna Lab and the Los Angeles Chamber Orchestra for the wonderful opportunity, and I hope you enjoy.
my name is Olivia Bennett. I'm 19 years old and I'm originally from Springfield, Missouri, but I'm currently living in Houston at Rice University as a freshman in composition. I was a Luna Lab Fellow in 2019 to 2020 and my mentor was Christy Custer from the University of Michigan. Um, a little bit about my piece, Mass for String Quartet, it was composed pretty early on in 2020 when a lot was happening, a lot of things were changing in the world um, starting at that time. And I decided to write a pretty aggressive piece. Um, I drew inspiration from heavy metal bands and I wanted a distorted, nasty sound um, and have it produced in a string quartet. Um, so I mimicked some sounds from like a distorted guitar, for example, um, and I just put it into a piece of my own. Um, so I hope you enjoy. Thank you so much. Thank you. 